Hi everyone, welcome to Kelly's Kitchen. It's a new year, we're gonna do new things. We have keto meatloaf today with Brussels, roasted Brussels sprouts. Come on in. What you need today to start is one and a half pounds of meat. And I have a pound of hamburger, regular ground beef, and then I have a pound of ground pork. I like doing at least a combination of two different kinds of meat. If you're lucky enough, there are some grocery stores. Ours used to do it, but they don't anymore. There was like a pack of three different kinds of meat for a meatloaf, and it was one and a half pounds total. It was perfect for my recipe, but they don't have that anymore. So we have to kind of make our own. This is what I came up with, and it works really well. One of the things with meatloaf, a lot of recipes call for breadcrumbs or oatmeal, which obviously is not very good for keto if you wanna do a keto diet. We are going to use rice cauliflower, and I'm also gonna throw some carrots. And these are shredded carrots that I just rough chopped a little bit so they weren't quite so long. The only other ingredients we'll need is one egg, slightly beaten, a small onion that we chopped up, and about a teaspoon of salt and a quarter to a half teaspoon of pepper. And that's kind of up to you and what you guys like for seasoning. If you don't want salt in your diet, I would completely eliminate the salt and that would be totally fine. I believe that the meat has enough flavor in it that you really don't need the salt anyways. And then we also are gonna have some either tomato juice or I actually had V8 juice. Um, and this has the same amount of carbs in it. It doesn't have any sugar and I check all my recipes to make sure there is no sugar added because there's sugar in everything you buy nowadays. There was sugar, one of the, I think it was a barbecue sauce I had. It said no added sugar. It had tapioca starch, it had honey in it, all sugar. You really have to read your labels before you buy anything to know what's in them. And then this I actually just found in our store today. Didn't even know they had it. It's just reg on the regular shelf, the cauliflower rice. Um, I usually buy either make, I either do my own or buy the frozen version. I'm gonna try this. You're supposed to squeeze it out, get some of the juice out, which is what you want. You don't want any juice in here because as your meatloaf isn't gonna hold together. So hopefully this works out. I've not tried it before, but we'll see what happens. Really easy to get this together. You need a loaf pan. Does not have to be greased. There's enough fat in the meat. You don't have to worry about that. So we're just gonna pour everything in. We have one cup of the tomato juice. This is about one cup of the rice cauliflower. And I would also say it's about one cup of the carrots. So this is optional, but I just like to throw it in. And then we have our small onion chopped up. And we have our egg that I will just beat up a little bit here. And then our salt and pepper. This is where the fun part begins. You get to get your hands dirty. And all you're gonna do is get this all mixed up together. You don't wanna work it too hard, but you definitely need to get the egg all mixed in there and the rice and the onion and the carrots all incorporated evenly, as well as the different kinds of meats. You want those incorporated all throughout evenly also. Nice and squishy. Doesn't really take that long. And I don't really squeeze it, I just more kind of almost knead it. And once you feel like everything is worked in, we're gonna put it in our loaf pan here, which I should have moved closer right away. And I think I'm just gonna plop it in here. You wanna make sure that there's no air bubbles in it at all possible, so I do kinda of poke it down really good. I didn't mention I have my oven going to 375, and this is actually gonna cook for an hour and 15 minutes. So when this is cooking, we're gonna get our Brussels sprouts ready. So I'm gonna wash my hands, get this in the oven, 
and then we'll be back to do the Brussels sprouts. All right, we're back with the Brussels sprouts. I have two 12 ounce bags of Brussels sprouts here. I have already cleaned them, cut them in half, cut the tips off, cut them in half. Usually I peel off the outside layer of the leaf just because it seems to get a little dirty. So here's your Brussels sprout here. You would trim off your edge, your end of it, and then you're just gonna cut this in half and throw it in the bowl. We are using avocado oil. I love using avocado oil, especially with anything over 350 degrees. It is one of the only oils that has a high heat point of, a, I think it's 450 degrees. I'm gonna do two tablespoons and I'm gonna drizzle that in there. And then again, I'm just doing salt and pepper. And it's up to you as far as if you wanna do the salt or not, if that's okay for your diet. Otherwise, just do the pepper. You could do a little garlic powder if you didn't wanna do salt. Then we're gonna give this a quick mix just to kind of get it all coated. And then we're gonna put this in the oven. So I have the meatloaf going in the oven at 375 and it's going for an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna set it for 45 minutes. I'm gonna set the timer for 45 minutes. I'm gonna put these in the oven then. That'll give them about 30 minutes. The meatloaf comes out and then I might just crank up the heat a little bit and let them go for another 10 minutes. We're gonna see what they look like once I take the meatloaf out. Usually I like to roast my vegetables at about 400 degrees, but because the meatloaf was already in there, I'm not gonna like wait for the meatloaf to come out and then put the Brussels sprouts in. We're just gonna do it all in one combing here. So we'll get these on our pan. And this is just a cookie sheet that I have lined with tin foil. Flatten them out so it's a nice single layer. And there you have it. There's our Brussels sprouts ready to go. So when 45 minutes is up, I will be back. We'll get these in the oven and we'll take a look at the meatloaf and see how it's doing. Our oven just went off for 45 minutes. I'm gonna show you, as I put the Brussels sprouts in here, I'm gonna show you what the meatloaf looks like. It's still gotta go for another half an hour, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the meatloaf. I did put it on a cookie sheet. I don't always do that, but this was actually a little fuller than normal, and I'm glad I did, because as I was pulling it out, it started to spill a little bit, and I always hate getting that in the oven. So we're gonna let this go for another half an hour. Then our Brussels sprouts will get heated up. This has to sit for 15 minutes once we take it out of the oven to let it cool before we cut it. So then we'll crank the heat on those Brussels sprouts a little bit just to get them a little crispy on top, and we'll be ready for dinner. Okay, we have the meatloaf out of the oven. As you can see, it's right here, extremely hot. We're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. I did set the oven for 15 more minutes. I left the Brussels sprouts in, but I did not turn them up. They actually were browning really nice in there. So we're just gonna let them go. I'll probably shut the oven off in a few minutes, but I'll keep the timer set for 15 just so I know when this meatloaf is ready to get done. I did also get a plate out and get some greens washed up so we can plate up our Meatloaf to go on top of that with our Brussels sprouts and we'll be ready to eat. Okay, we got our Brussels sprouts out of the oven. Our meatloaf has been cooling for 15 minutes. We're gonna slice it up. Just one quick tip, make sure you squeeze out that cauliflower, rice cauliflower as good as you can so that there's not a lot of liquid. There seems to be a little bit more liquid in here than normal but we'll find out when I try and dig out some of these pieces. And you know how it is, the first piece is always the hardest. So we'll see how that goes. So we'll scoop some Brussels sprouts on the plate here. I love Brussels sprouts. You could obviously use any vegetable that you had on hand. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get one of the pieces out. Looks good, you can see the carrots in there. The onions, smells delicious. There you have it. Meatloaf and Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight. I really hope you guys enjoyed the recipe today. Please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that notification bell because we have some more great recipes coming up. Any comments are greatly appreciated. You need a recipe converted to keto, I can do it for you. Just let me know. Enjoy and have a great day.